My name's Jason Messier, and I'm self-taught artist. He uses completely like everyday objects, but he creates shadow and he creates depth, and, and he really and there's much more to it than meets the eye. What I've been working on now is my celebrity junk drawer pieces. Dana Devon, this feather was hers. Tura Satana, um, most well known for Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, the Russ Meyer classic. This was her perfume. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, sent me all this stuff. This was her makeup right here. Those are her um, sunglasses. Elvira with the spider in, in her beehive hair, which is just genius. He's got a great technique. Uh, but it's, it's, to me, it's a one-trick pony. I'll start with um, whatever box that someone will send me in the mail. I'll go through all their stuff. So this is um, Phyllis Diller. This is one of the um, first ones I made where every single thing on here was hers. I really like this prescription bottle because it says put it on at bedtime for itch. What could be more artistic than uh, his interpretation of what people look like and what objects represent them? It takes so much more creativity than just doing a painting or a drawing or anything else. Okay, this one's Parker Posey. This was like her little to-go lids and um, cigarette packs underneath there. She sent me a lot of good stuff. This is Dana Devon, um, you know, the host of Extra. Here's her business card. And then I just did like the extra background to clue the viewer in. For me personally, uh, the celebrity aspect is a distraction. I would find it more interesting if he pushed out of that. Around 1992, I wanted to take the uh, macaroni art to a new level. Then I just sort of evolved from there. So this is um, Kathy Jimmy. She sent me a bunch of this stuff. Like her skin is um, a script from King of the Hill. These are um, brown and served sausages. I think make perfect eyebrows. It's gimmick art, and as fascinating as it is, um, it's, you know, so is a car wreck. This is my giant um, Farrah Fawcett piece. She didn't send me anything for this, but I worked for maybe like a whole year on this piece. What I wanted to do with this was sort of explore like the different ideas of like richness and decay. And so there's, there's a lot of things like fancy makeup and credit cards. And then there's fly traps with like flies, dead flies on it. There's the um, snail nipple. Can I say that on TV? A lot of it I use sort of like a sewing pattern where I'll make a whole pattern so I can see the size the eyes would be and um, sort of fill it in like a jigsaw puzzle. That's a lot of standing back and like squinting, looking at it. And I'll build things up with like foam core or wood to make certain parts more three-dimensional. You get really close to it and it's not art anymore. It's a bunch of like scrap paper and burnt mountains. But as you move back, suddenly it takes shape and it's an eye and it's a figure and it's a form and it's a statement. Even beyond that, about the subject matter and the, the person in the, the picture with all the elements of the picture. So it's definitely art. Messier is almost the uh, historical opposite of the great assemblage art because he is not trying to make the experience of these objects. He's, he's subjugating these objects into an illustration. I think the stuff I'm doing now is high art. It seems similar to what maybe Warhol was doing, applied to a new generation and new techniques and stuff. It's pop art and folk art. Grandma could do the same thing with seashells to make seagulls flying by at the beach. Is I mean, that's craft, that's not art. Mm -hmm.